So we already know that in Study Island, there are lots of different ways to pull up every report that you could think of. I'm going to show you what I think is the simplest way to pull up a benchmark report, and then we can talk about the other ways and other options that we have for benchmark reports. So the simplest way that I've found is to go to benchmarking here through our left-hand navigation and finding the benchmark physically. If it's currently going, it's going to be in current benchmarks, but in most cases it's going to be in previous benchmarks. So I have a benchmark right here. And anytime you see that bar graph that I just clicked on really quickly, there's data behind it. So let's take a look at that. We have this data right here. This is how our students scored according to reporting category. Let's say that this isn't exactly what we're looking for. We're hoping for a few more options. Let's come back over here and let's go to school reports. So you'll see that we have a benchmarking report here as well. If you pull it up in gradebook format, you're going to find exactly what we just pulled up. We also have a class summary which is just how your class did in total, a class comparison, if you would like to compare one teacher's class to another teacher's class, or even two of your own classes. An individual student format, if you want to pull it up student by student, and a school-wide executive summary. Um, if you're looking for a report that includes things like migratory status or ELL or other things that you may have put in during your import, these will be right here. As for now, I'm just going to pull it up by gradebook. I have third graders. You'll select that program, that's third grade. You'll select your subject, I chose math, and your benchmark. And then I'll hit view report and you'll see I have the exact same report that I just pulled up by going on to benchmarking. Now, if you wanna dig in, there are several different ways that you can do that. I like item analysis because I'm a big old data nerd. So I'm gonna come here to item analysis and you'll see that I have all sorts of good stuff. You have the question, the number correct, the number incorrect, and the score. So if you click the question, it'll take you straight to the question itself. And you'll be able to see who got it right and who all got it wrong. This is a great way to start digging into data and see if maybe there's some places that you need to go back and reteach. So we have all of that good stuff. We also have a standards report. It's going to open in the wrong window, so give me one second to pull that over. Nope. And you'll see it's the exact same report, just broken down by standard. It is really big, so you can go in and you can cut out exactly what you need as you work through. And it goes standard by standard, so it's really cool. You can also come in and dig in by the student. I'm going to go to Eric Cuthbert right here. And I can come in and I can look at exactly just Eric's. I can come in and view the missed. And it says view missed, but I can actually pull up as soon as it loads. All of his questions, just the ones he missed or just the ones he got right. So as we're talking through, as we're working on intervention plans, we'll have this data available to us. Thanks so much for joining us today. If you have any questions, you can reach us um, through a variety of methods. I've included our email in the description along with our customer supports email. So if you have any issues or problems or questions, please feel free to reach out to our support team. I've also included our support team's information right here. So that's 800-419-3191, option three. Thanks so much for joining everybody. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your day.